Hello, I'm Anne Wawado. Here's your channel TV morning news update for July the 18th, 2019. The president of the Senate, Ahmed Lawan, is confident that the appropriation bills will not suffer setback. Senator Lawan made the comment after he and the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabi Amila, had a closed-door meeting with President Mohamed Buhari at the villa. He says the executive and legislature are on the same page on the matter and returning the national budget fiscal cycle from January to December will be possible if the proposal gets to the National Assembly by September. Meanwhile, President Mohamed Buhari has asked Nigerians to ignore the recent call by the Northern Elders Forum to Fulani herders, asking them to leave the southern part of the country. A statement from the presidency says all citizens of Nigeria are free to move and live within any part of the country they please, whether or not they are originally from there. The president also explains that his government is fully devoted to finding a lasting solution to the head of farmer clashes in different parts of Nigeria, one that will be acceptable to all the parties involved. Still on security matters, the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association are seeking partnerships with the Christian Association of Nigeria to combat the farmer herders conflict in the country. According to the National Secretary of Makban, Baba Ngelzama, the group is kicking off several stakeholder engagements to resolve the problem. On the international scene, Ebola outbreak in the Democratic Republic of Congo has been declared a public health emergency of international concern. The World Health Organization made the declaration but says the risk of the disease spreading outside the region is not high. The outbreak in the DR Congo has killed more than 1,600 people. And in sports, Nigeria's Super Eagles have won the eighth bronze medal at the Africa Cup of Nations. Odion Igalo handed Gunnar Ross side victory with his second-minute goal in the third-place match against Tunisia at the Al Salam Stadium in Cairo, Egypt. Ahead of the final match between Algeria and Senegal, Igalo is leading the goal scorers' charge with a total of five goals in the tournament. And that's the morning news update. Don't forget to join us later today for the evening recap. I'm Anne Wawadu. Thank you for watching.